right, I'm at 42.14 Swift, and um, the neighborhood is called the Ridge at McCormick Woods. Um, it is a planned neighborhood built by Quadrant Homes. Um, at that time, they were called Quadrant Homes. Today, they are called TriPoint. They're um, a pretty big home builder, national home builder. Uh, back when this house was built, they were a little bit more of a local um, home builder. The exteriors on these homes all have vinyl siding, so very low maintenance. And um, I would suggest the roof is original, and so it would be something of note because, you know, the houses are probably getting to the halfway point on the roof life. Um, the trim paint looks great, and the curb appeal looks great. All right, I'm here on the front porch. Again, um, I mentioned earlier, I've got pride of ownership. We enter into the house onto uh, wood laminate. Um, this is a really very popular floor plan. They built this builder built this floor plan in a lot of places. Um, they have almost set it up identical the way the builder would want have wanted it. So the front area was supposed to be like a sitting area. So they have like a formal living room there. The next part of the space where the chandelier is was the designated formal dining room. Um, I see people tons of time create this whole space as a living area, and then they just may change out the overhead lighting. Uh, directly to the left is the powder room, and it is a basic half bath with commode behind the door there. We'll have a um, under stair storage closet. Um, they have a lot of stuff, but the house is very neat. I also do smell a lot of fragrance, um, but I think that is potpourri. So uh, this wall divides the formal spaces from the informal spaces. So this was to be the family room. And then this was to be the eat-in kitchen. And um, just, again, a super, super popular floor plan. Counters are laminate. We have natural gas to the house. We have natural gas cooking. Tons and tons of storage. Tons and tons of workspace. There's a huge pantry. Um, I'll show you in just a minute. Again, I would say um, kind of a meticulous housekeeper, even though they have a lot of stuff. So here's the walkthrough pantry right off of the kitchen behind the door, laundry, and then out this door will be the garage. And true to form, tons of stuff in the garage. Um, that's a door to the uh, side yard and uh, the water heater, regular water heater is there. This builder, typically the furnace would be located um, upstairs in a closet. We'll take a look at that. And take a quick peek outside. So they added the flooring after the fact. Um, this builder would have had a little bit of uh, hardwoods in the entryway, and then everything else would have been carpet until you got to the kitchen. So the seller has definitely updated the flooring. Again, the benefit of this house is it has um, probably one of the nicer size lots for the neighborhood and a really nice size um, side yard has air conditioning um, so it's a cute yard and they did the laminate all the way up the stairs which is nice this eliminates the wear and tear, or the visual wear and tear. A little nook here. One very nice size bedroom. This is a queen size bed. This person is athlete and a musician. And Builder did a great job with 
um, closet space. So walk-in closet. I think almost every bedroom will have a walk-in. Master bedroom, ginormous. So that's a king size bed, but you also have all of this space over here. And then this will have two walk-ins. So lots of closet space here. So the builder thought of this space as like a sitting area. So if you want to have a TV sitting space in the master. And then the ensuite. So walk-in closet here. Walk-in shower. Soaking tub, single vanity, and so they've put an um, extra dresser in the master bath. I'll go back out in the hallway here and look at the other side. So this will likely be the furnace room. Yep, there's your furnace, and that's natural gas. Another big bedroom. Um, the agent said that this window's being repaired before closing. Another walk-in closet. Last bedroom. This one will have a wardrobe closet, but it's still a very, very nice size room. So this house is all about resale because this neighborhood is super popular and um, this will appeal to a broad audience because of the large number of bedrooms. And here's the hallway bath. Okay. 